You will need to remove various underbody trays to gain access to the O2 sensors. Please follow the link at the end of this video for our articles and videos and additional assistance on those procedures. There are four O2 sensors on the C350, two pre-catalytic converters, yellow arrows, and two at the rear of the cats, red arrows. The wiring connections are located on the lower side of the bell housing, green arrows. This photo shows the two sensors on the left side, the pre-cat, red arrow, and the cat sensor, yellow arrow. These sensors are not interchangeable. The right side is the same as the left though. Both sensors connect to the wiring harness on the lower side of the bell housing. The connection for the pre-cat sensor, red arrow, is different from the cat sensor, yellow arrow, so you can't mix them up. Simply pull the connection for the sensor you are changing out from the retaining clip and separate the connection. While the size of the base of the sensors is 22 millimeters, you really should get and use a 22 millimeter crawfoot socket. The sensors are difficult to reach and can get quite stuck. You do not want to round off the sensor trying to remove it. I highly recommend using the crawfoot socket. The sensors can be difficult to get to, so have a series of extensions and universals ready. Use the crawfoot socket and remove the old sensor. There is absolutely no way to tell if a sensor has gone bad by looking at it, so make sure you have checked the fault codes. The sensors have different length cables and different connections, so while they will screw into both ports, you really, really have to try hard to install and connect them incorrectly. The new sensor will have a small amount of anti-seize on the threads. Make sure you do not get this on the sensor itself when installing. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.